Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to restore a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a bare metal recovery image. Bare metal recovery provides protection when a machine won't start or if the OS hard disk has failure and you have to recover everything on a new hard drive or to a different server. Using bare metal recovery, users can recover their servers without an OS already installed. Bare metal recovery can be helpful to quickly restore your server after a hardware failure or ransomware. In the previous video, we saw the steps on how to perform bare metal recovery backup on Windows Server 2022 domain controller. Link to that video is given in the description. In this video, we want to restore our Windows Server 2022 DC using a bare metal backup image. If an Active Directory domain controller running Windows Server 2022 is unable to boot into normal mode, or directory services restore mode, it may be necessary to restore the DC from a backup. We use bare metal recovery if your server could not start or if the main hard drive has failure and you have to recover everything on new hard drive. The only way to recover your server in that situation is by running the system image recovery option from the Windows recovery environment. The requirements are a Windows Server 2022 installation media. It can be either USB drive or DVD. A previous bare metal recovery image backup that was taken with the Windows Server backup application. To recover your Server 2022 DC from a Vinari, boot your server from the Windows Server 2022 installation media. For this video, we are using the VM created in Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller for Active Directory domain msftwebcast.com. This is the same VM for which we created a bare metal recovery backup image in the last video. First, let's modify the VM settings. Click on Settings. Click on Storage. Click on Empty DVD icon and mount the Windows Server 2022 ISO image. Click OK to save the changes. Start the VM. Immediately and repeatedly press the escape key. When you see this screen, navigate using the arrow keys to boot manager option and press enter. Now select the UEFI VBOX CD-ROM device and press enter to boot from the ISO file. Press any key from the keyboard to boot using the ISO image. In physical machine or in Hyper-V VM, these steps can be different. But the most important step is to boot your server using the ISO image, USB drive or DVD drive. On this screen, choose the appropriate language options, time and currency format and keyboard layout. When you're ready, click on Next. Click on Repair your computer. Click on Troubleshoot. Click on System Image Recovery. Choose Windows Server. Since the hard drive with the BMR image is attached to our server, the server will automatically find the BMR image stored on this disk. You can use the latest available system image to restore your server or you can click at Select a system image option to select a different system image. Always prefer to recover your server with the most recent system image in order to restore your server with all the recently changes. Keep in mind that any changes made to your server after the system image backup date must be reapplied. Let me show you the other options. Choose Select a system image and click Next. The most recent image is selected by default, but you may choose an older one if you wish. If necessary, click the Advanced button to install a driver or search for an image on the network. To detect the external drive containing the BMR image, you can use the Install a Driver option to install the necessary driver. In case the BMR image has been stored on a shared network folder, you can use the Search for a System Image on Network option. 
Since we have already attached the hard drive with BMR image to this VM, I am going to click on cancel. Go back. Make sure that use the latest available system image option is selected. Click next. If you wish to recreate the disk partition scheme and reformat disk that windows can access, select the format and repartition disk checkbox. Use this option only if you have replaced the hard drive on your server. For example, after a hard drive failure when you want to restore your server to a new hard drive. If you wish to prevent certain disk from being reformatted, click exclude disk and select the disk that you don't wish to reformat. Click OK. Click Next to continue. Review Summary and click Finish to proceed. Confirm that you wish to start the restore by clicking Yes. The Windows Server 2022 BMR image restoration has been started successfully. This might take a while depending on how much data to be restored. So I'm going to pause the video recording and once the restoration job is completed, I'll resume the recording. As you can see, the restoration process has been completed successfully. Within next 50 seconds, a server will restart automatically. To restart immediately, click on Restart Now. Sign into this Windows Server 2022 DC using the Domain Administrator's user account. We can confirm that our Windows Server 2022 Domain Controller has been successfully restored using Bare Metal Recovery image. Click on Local Server. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on Domain Controllers and here we can see our Domain Controller SRT22-DC01. It is a good idea to review its event logs to verify that everything is working properly. That's all for this video on how to restore a Windows Server 2022 Domain Controller using a bare metal recovery image. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.